This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good afternoon. We are coming on the air right now because there has been a serious accident in Miami, Florida. That is the scene at Florida International University right now. A pedestrian bridge, a brand new pedestrian bridge just built over the weekend has collapsed in the last hour. It's on 109th Avenue and 8th Street in Miami, trapping a number of cars and people underneath. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, there are several fatalities confirmed. Five to six vehicles crushed underneath that bridge. As you can see, as I said, this is a brand new bridge. It was just finished over the weekend this Saturday. We actually can show how the 950 ton bridge was being put up in those, in those final hours. But you see the devastation right there. The brand new bridge has just completely collapsed onto the causeway right there. It was apparently a bridge that was connecting various parts of the campuses to off campus housing. I want to bring in our correspondent, Victor Akendo, on the phone in Miami. Victor, what more can you tell us right now? George, we're on our way right now to the scene. What I can tell you is I just spoke with a source who said that they just installed that part of the bridge that connects the Florida International University campus to the city of Sweetwater on Saturday. That big portion that goes right across 8th Street. Now, it wasn't open just yet. It was set to open uh, at some point in December of this year. This was a project between FIU and the city of Sweetwater. They received a grant to build it and... They put that up very quickly. Again, just on Saturday is when they put up that portion that collapsed and it came crashing down. Uh, at least six cars trapped underneath per Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and a number of fatalities as well. Yeah, we're seeing now on a split screen as it was being put up. It was put up in just a few hours, you said, very quickly, ex using accelerated bridge construction uh, methods, but it had only been in operation now for, for a couple of days. And, of course, Florida International University, a very large campus, 55,000 enrolled students. What more can you tell us about that area in Miami? It is a very busy area, George. And that university has only grown over the last 20 years, it's become one of the largest universities in the country. That area right now, it, it is absolutely sprawling. And to think that something like this happened there, uh, it, it's just devastating. I know you're on your way. I want to talk to Scott Withers now, our producer on the phone, on the scene at Florida International University. Tell us what you're seeing. George, they're pushing us back right now. I was just about 100 feet from it. I can see at least four cars, different sizes of like a minivan there looks like a large panel truck is also just smushed underneath this this is a bridge as victor was saying that was under construction you can still see uh some of the scaffolding on the side there are cranes on the other side of the bridge i've talked to some of the witnesses here that said it was they didn't hear anything they didn't see anything leading up to it it just fell and fell very quickly. I've talked, uh, there are some of the police officers and the fire rescue people here, they're saying that there are confirmed fatalities on the scene. Um, this bridge spans about seven or eight lanes, and this is a busy road. This is 8th Street in southwest uh, Miami. It's over by, it's, it connects a brand new parking garage over to the other side, as Victor was saying. They're still taking stretchers in and bringing people out. I've seen one woman just leave a few minutes ago, she was sitting up. She was talking, uh, talking to the paramedics, so she was uh, okay. But they have not removed any of the bodies, and there's no way that some of the pe people made it out of these cars. Okay, Scott, stand by, because I want to bring in Tyona Page right now, another eyewitness on the scene. And, Tyona, thank you for joining us. Now, you actually saw the bridge go down? Yes, I live at 109, um, and it felt as if there was an earthquake. So me and my roommate jumped up and looked outside. And as soon as I looked outside, I saw dust um, flying everywhere, and I knew that the bridge had collapsed. There was one car that was able to get, I guess they had just missed um, the bridge, and the back end of her car was smashed, and the screams that were coming from the car was terrifying. Like, I watched every, like, everyone started sprinting towards the scene, and it was just so scary because it happened so fast. Yeah, so, Tana, this happened in a matter of seconds. A matter of seconds. And, and, and were you able to see, we are now seeing the, the, the rescue workers on top of the bridge right now, were you able to see if there was anyone actually on the bridge or were all the, uh, all, was, was all the danger underneath the bridge as it collapsed? No, there was workers on the bridge. They're still actually trying to dig people out from under the bridge. I watched them dig a hole or um, kind of pull someone out. They were, I watched people, two people have to have CPR performed on them 
and there's there's still a, an abundant, I think, like three cars that are completely smashed under the bridge that they haven't been able to get to yet. You saw three cars they weren't able to get to. Do you have any sense from what you were able to see of how many injured there might be? Um, I know that for sure there has to be at least three people dead, um, only because that's how many cars are under there, and there's no way anyone was able to survive that. I don't know about the death toll. And I know I watched helicopters be flown in. I think there was a few people flown out. So I don't know. And you say it felt like an earthquake. Um, how close are you to the bridge? Um, I am on the 15th floor. I live on the 15th floor of this um, apartment complex. So that's, I was pretty far up, but I'm basically right over the intersection. And you have any idea what happened or no? No, I could only think that there might have been a miscalculation of some sort, a fatal one at that. Well, Tayona, thank you for thank you for quickly calling in to us and sharing your story. Appreciate uh, the information you're able to give us. I want to go over to Scott Withers as well. We've now heard from Rick Scott, the governor of Florida, says he's spoken with the Miami-Dade County Police Chief Juan Perez about this collapse. Obviously, be working with law enforcement all through the day. What kind of presence of law enforcement rescue workers are you seeing there on the scene? Uh, George, uh, you name it, it's here. We've got Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. We've got Sheriff. We've got local police. I'm, I'm it's like 30 to 40 active vehicles right where I'm at. There's actually not a lot of activity because the people that were uh, the people that were trapped under the car are the cars are still under the bridge. There was no one walking really over it because it wasn't open to the public yet. So all of the activity now is focused on, as the woman was saying, on those cars that, and I can still see them, they are pancaked under this bridge. And primarily, if you're looking at this bridge, the north section of it is where the, it appears most of the collapse because that's just kind of crumbled. The southern portion of it is all in one piece, leaning down onto the road. Um, and you can't really tell if there was a support beam in the middle holding this up. It's a very wide road, and there's not a lot of, of, of space for a support beam if there was one there. But that whole section from the middle of the road towards the north end is gone. It's just all down. And that's where I'm seeing this large panel truck. And, and George, it's been compressed down to maybe two or three feet. And if you know what size wow. a, a, a panel truck is, it's just been smashed. Boy, um, there are other parts. Such power. Extreme power. This And it came down really, really quickly. And the people that I've talked to, they said it was just instantaneous. It was loud. And there was nothing they could do. It was pandemonium, they're telling me. And they just ran as quickly as they could to try and help. But those people pinned under in their cars, there was no way they could get to them. Okay, well, Scott, thank you very much again. What we're talking about here is that bridge collapse in Miami, uh, Florida, Florida International University, and a pedestrian bridge, brand new pedestrian bridge that has collapsed in the last hour. According to the Florida Highway, Highway Patrol, there are several fatalities confirmed. As you can see, the rescue operations are continuing right now. You can get the latest on that anytime at abcnews.com or by downloading the ABC News app. And, of course, there will be a full report tonight on Rural News Tonight with David Muir. Have a good day. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.